As a tech fanatic myself, I've tried a lot of different note taking apps in order to find the one that works best for my sort of workflow and the way that I study and organize my business as well. I've tried pen and paper, OneNote, Narome Research, and after trying all of these other different sort of apps, the one that I found that myself going towards the most was Notion. I think Notion is one of the best note taking apps and that's really because it isn't just a note taking app. Hi, Archer here, a first year medical student. And in this video, I'm gonna be going through why I think Notion is the best note taking app that you should try out if you haven't already. I'm gonna be going through the reasons why I personally find that Notion is the better note taking app against its competitors. And then we're gonna go through how I actually use Notion myself as a student. And then we'll look at another different angle by looking at how we can use tables and databases to organize our personal lives and businesses. And we'll take a look at that by looking at my YouTube channel's Notion page. All right, let's get straight into it. One of the biggest features that I think has made a lot of people convert to Notion is for its ability to be more than a note-taking app. There are a lot of organizational features within Notion and I think that's what separates it the most from its other competitors. Notion has all of these features like tables, databases, they've recently added a timeline and those things just make it a lot easier for you to work in the way that you want to. And that makes it easier for you to keep coming back to it and keep using the program, which is able to help you be more efficient overall. The thing that stands out for me is the whole idea about building your notes around databases. So it's pretty much a mix up between Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel in a way. But really Notion is actually a lot more powerful than just that. With those databases, you can create a lot of different views for the information that's within that database. A few of the ones that I find most useful include things like table, calendar, and then the new one that they've added as well is timeline. Another really good thing about Notion is you're not really limited by too many limitations. Sort of like Rome Research, you're able to have an infinite hierarchy system, which means you can put a page within a page within a page. Basically, this means as the way that your brain is sort of unpacking these sort of ideas and how they link to each other, you're able to do that. And another feature that they've done to try and be on the same level as Rome Research is they've added that bi-directional linking between pages as well. They had something similar to this before when they had relations within the databases, but they've developed it a little bit more to make it so that pages that are not in databases can also have that bi-directional linking. And the whole idea about bi-directional linking is that you're able to see how these ideas actually connect together in the overall bigger picture. And that's really useful for the people who are trying to be more creative in their work by connecting all of these ideas that don't seem like they should go together, but because they see that bi-directional link, you can make these new connections and then you've got something else. And that's why we're seeing such great success from competitors like Rome Research. But overall Notion, in my opinion, is a lot more comprehensive and fleshed out compared to Rome Research, which is still in its sort of beta and development phases. And so that's sort of my reasons about how Notion actually completely takes the whole note-taking app to another level. Okay, so let's now actually take a look at how I use Notion for my studies. So what we can see here is that I've actually got a repetition timetable, which is similar to the thing that I did uh, with Google Sheets. So make sure to check that out if you haven't already. Essentially what you can see here is that I put down all my reps of the content. And this is only the reps that I'm doing on Notion. I actually have a lot of this information on Anki as well, which adds even more repetitions of the same content to make it easier for me to memorize for the exam. The nice thing here as well is besides all the content that I'm trying to learn, I'm able to put things like the information that is relevant to the topic. So I've got you know my notes for the first assignment, I've got how our grades are going to be determined and more information on the topic. So as we scroll down, we can sort of see what's going on here. I've got all of my topics organized by the subject outline and I was lucky enough for this subject to have something provided for me, but there has been some other cases for the different subjects that I've been doing where I have to make that course structure myself. And that's all about scoping the subject, which I'm going to talk about in a future video. So let's go through this. This was actually an exam that I had last semester. And so we can see sort of the repetitions that I've gone through with this sort of content. All right, so let's take a look at one of them. So if we take a look for 11.2, you can see how I've rated these questions and how I've gone with them. So I'll ask myself, what is the function of the capillaries? I'll think of the answer. I'll say it in my head, and then I can check the answer here and see how much I've missed out. And because I've given myself a five here, that means at this point, just before the exam, I felt good enough with this question that I was always getting it correct. We can actually see this just goes throughout for all of the questions that I have. And I created these questions by watching the lectures. And these are questions that I would have asked myself at a later time, or if I would have asked the lecturer themselves. A thing that you can actually see here is that I've put red on some of the sections which I feel really uncomfortable with, or something I don't actually know at all. So that's a quick recap of what I do in Notion when I'm taking notes for my subjects. And this is my primary way of doing it. I don't really like to write my notes because it's just not as efficient as typing and all of the other things that you can do on a laptop. I'm gonna have a future video talking about this, comparing the iPad to a laptop in taking notes 
for your studies. So now let's take a look at how I use Notion to organize some other aspects of my life, uh, things like YouTube or business or personal related things. Okay, so this is basically just like my main page uh, for my YouTube. So you can see that I've got like the important link here and then I've got everything else that is related to the YouTube channel. I've basically got a table of contents here for the pages that I go on quite frequently. So here I've got a database about all the videos that I hope to make, the videos that I have made and the ones that are in progress as well. So in this database, I'm actually using a Kanban board. The really nice thing about Notion is like I mentioned before, is that we can have all of these different views. So one of the things that's really important to check up on is looking at my current projects and how they're going. So I've got this in a timeline view, which is new feature, and I can see what is currently happening uh, when I've started the project and when is it going to be due. So here we can see the calendar view, which is another way at looking at the same information in my database. I think the really useful thing here is particularly for me when I'm trying to get out content weekly, I get to see when I have a video due by and what the video actually is. Okay, so those are just some examples of how I actually use Notion. You don't actually have to use it the specific way that I'm doing it, but you can see that there's all these different sort of features that aren't just found in things like OneNote or Notability or Roam Research. But that's because all of those different apps have different use cases for different sorts of people. There's a Twitter post that talks about Notion about really being the app that is made for the architect type of personality. And I think that sort of fits to me and that's why I like Notion so much. I definitely think you should take a look at Notion if you haven't heard it about it already all over YouTube because I think it's one of those apps that is really transformative if you give it a good go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if you have, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.